Kennedy Space Center in Florida. CNN science correspondent Miles O'Brien is with us this morning to talk about some of the last minute preparations, also to take us through the launch. Miles, good morning. Good morning, Kathy. Flight controllers in uh, Cape Canaveral have pronounced it a good morning to go flying, and so, so it appears to be at Cape Canaveral in Florida. It is a breezy morning. It is a little bit chilly, but well within the minimums which NASA prescribes for a launch. All indications are that the shuttle Discovery will launch on an eight-day mission in about two minutes. The six-member crew is, of course, strapped in their seats ready for that mission. They are Commander Charlie Bolden, uh, Pilot Ken Reitler, Mission Specialist Jan Davis, Ron Sega, Franklin Chang Diaz, and Sergei Krikalov. Let's watch as we see the countdown. Okay, let's just go for auto sequence start. 25. Just a few seconds, thousands of gallons of water will be dumped on the launch pad to help suppress the sound. 15. T-minus 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery on a bold new era of space flight between the United States and Russia. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling and roll maneuver is underway. Avoid the orbiter. Discovery is now in a head down position on course for 57 degree, 190 nautical mile orbit. Discovery now throttling down as the orbiter prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Discovery is already traveling 1,000 miles per hour and at an altitude of about 33,000 feet. Downrange from the launch site now 4 nautical miles. Discovery, go at throttle up. Roger, Houston, go at throttle up, sir. All three engines have now throttled back up to full throttle. That is 104% of rated thrust. Discovery is downrange from the launch site, 10 nautical miles now, traveling 2,700 feet per second or about 2,000 miles per hour. Altitude now 88,000 feet. Approaching two minutes into the flight, this is the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Some beautiful pictures uh, from the skies above Cape Canaveral, Florida this morning. The shuttle Discovery on its way on time for an eight-day, five-hour, 32-minute mission in a 190-mile orbit. A series of scientific experiments will be conducted while they are in orbit, but more importantly, uh, the passenger on board, the cosmonaut uh, Kriklev, en entering a new era in joint cooperation between NASA and the Russians, which NASA hopes will ultimately lead to a joint construction of a space station with Russians and other partners. Uh, it's now a big uh, first of three phases, side. NASA says. Uh, ultimately, there will be a series of dockings by the shuttle at the Mir space station, and then that will lead to the construction of the space station with the Russians. There's a beautiful picture showing the trail of shuttle discovery as it goes off into orbit. A beautiful morning for a launch. And a picture-perfect one exactly on time. 263,000 feet. Now traveling. Discovery performance nominal. Performance. The performance thus far in the mission has been as expected. Discovery is traveling 5,700 feet per second or about 4,000 miles per hour as the orbiter travels 87 nautical miles east or northeast of the launch site. 
Altitude approaching 300,000 feet, three and a half minutes into the flight. NASA described this as a nominal launch. I would say that was a beautiful launch. Let's take another look at it. Five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery on a bold new era of spaceflight between the United States and Russia. Discovery and roll. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is underway aboard the orbiter. Discovery is now in a head-down position on course for a 57-degree, 190-nautical-mile orbit. Just as we saw about four minutes ago, on time and perfect in most every way, Shuttle Discovery on its way to its uh, eight-day mission, uh, a new era, as NASA says, of Russian and American uh, cooperation in space.